seven best friends. Most important, develop the capacity to forgive and to heal your differences day by day. <coughs> Always remember your love can prevail. It can be a miracle that invites you to learn, to blossom, and to expand your horizon. We're going to come to a last one. What you promise today will be renewed tomorrow and each day thereafter amongst yourselves. And every day you will have to face each other and do peace of value to each other on a regular basis. Yeah. So if you face each other and hold hands, we never rehearse. <laughs> In general, we never rehearse. <laughs> Flexibility. <laughs> Above you are the stars, and below you are the stones. As time passes, remember that like the stone, your love should be firm. Like the stars, your sh love should be constant. Let the strength of your will bind you together, and let the power of love and desire make you happy, and the strength of your dedication make you inseparable. Possess one another, yet be understanding. Have patience with you, one another, for all storms will pass. Be free in giving affection and warmth, and have no fear, and let not the ways of others give you unease. May, will you call it Gary Payne? Hey! And is that your intent? Yes. And Gary, will you cause May pain? I might. And is that your intent? No. Will you both share in each other's pain and seek to erase it? Both of you look for the brightness in life and the positive in each other. <laughs> and so the second binding is made. to create your realities and hopes. And that's the fourth finding with me. <laughs> yes, me too. <laughs> she wants to be back. Gary and Mr. Solemn Vow? And will you, Gary, honor May in your solemn vow? Will you both seek to never break that honor? And so the sixth binding is made. May, the knot did not start out as an abstraction. The lover's knots that bind two hands represent an indissolutionable <coughs> union, and tying is still practiced in many cultures as a symbol of love, of affection, faith, friendship, and duty. The six vows are now tied, and either of you may drop the cords, just as not in the sky but in our hearts. 
the knots of this binding are not formed of, of these cords, but of your love for each other. Either of you may drop the cords, for as you always hold in your hands the making or breaking of this union. <laughs> the flower is a sign of joy of life and passing from generation to generation, defiantly beautiful, forever going forward. The earth laughs in flowers. Gary, I have not the right to bind you to May. Only you have this right. If it be your wish, please repeat after me. Repeat after me. Gary, I give you this sorrow. Gary, I give you this sorrow. As a sign of your vow. As a sign of your vow. To continue to stay. To have made this day. I pledge you my truth. I pledge you my truth. My love, my love, and my truth. And my love, my love, my love, and my truth. And my tears is all that I am. Is all that I am. I honor you. May the love that has brought you together continue to grow and enrich your lives. May your marriage be one of ever-growing depth and meaning. May the happiness you share today be yours always, and may every word you have pledged here be a living truth in your lives. Gary and May, we have heard your promises to share your love and your lives. We recognize and respect the covenant that you've made here today. Therefore, in the honest and sincerity of what you have said and done, it is my honor and delight to henceforth declare you to be husband and wife. As they say in the sutras, it is not idle talk, but the highest of truths. May the Lord bless and keep you both, and may lift up his countenance, countenance upon you and give you peace always. Amen. You may seal your vows with the kiss. <laughs> Yeah, I was going to say, someone's supervising if I give him chocolate. <laughs> I'll take it later. You'll get later. Okay. <laughs>